Waited as Washington's all-time leading rebounder now with the Sacramento Kings. Three goals down from Nick O'Corey, the senior out of here. Robertson has as many fouls as points. That's a two, and it goes for O'Corey. 500 miles away from Houston to Lubbock, Texas. Yeah, that's a little, little haul from down that way, but he's happy to be in the lineup tonight. Single Terry, back door is open. Loses it, Overton bails him out, and now the Red Raiders bring it back. O'Corey bumped. And flips back up to his feet. Well, Lorenzo Romar goes with Justin Holliday. Back door is open for Nick O'Corey off the look from Robertson. Outlet to midcourt. The lob inside and the flush. Point trip to try to complete that four-point play potential. Ball stolen off the inbounds by Corey after a made free throw by Roberts. Another turnover, and Tech now up six with the ball. And we'll finish that thought in a moment. Corey skies up. Good! And a three-point trip. The very unconventional. Corey for three. Got it. That'll help. Getting those offensive rebounds, Robertson to a Corey. He'll take for three. Yes. In here, and it's 17-14. A Corey at the free throw line, jumper good. He uh, he only got you once out of his 902 wins. Only one was on me. Oh, tip is into the hands of Reese and Tech looking to run. A Corey all the way, scoop shot layup. Yes. And the red baseline right hand side to Lewandowski. Lou to a cutting of Corey to the goal, draws the contact, and one, no, it goes out. But Nick will go to the line. Back to a seven-point game. Ooh. And that is outstanding, O'Curry beating the a high screen for him. Pass across the floor, and it's stolen by a Corey. One-on-one, -on -one, foul, and he'll go to the line and shoot. Robertson to Adarevich, not a three-point shooter, gives it up to O'Curry, and he drains it. Scored as Green open, steps back, three up, off the rim, no good. Roberts with a rebound, and DeWayland gets it to Robertson, running the front court, three on two, Corey, right corner three, up, good! It's a screen for Robertson, looking on the give and go instead of Corey, wing left hand side, Nick pulls up from 17, got it. Up, no, Lewandowski gets it out to Corey, and Nick looking to run the floor. Corey gets it out, Reese, for his second three of the half, you betcha. Jeff Pizdelic and the Buffs, on the other hand, they're playing with the their utmost confidence right now. Nick Robertson. John hits a cutting of Corey going left to right across the lane. Fade away. Oh, what a shot! Had it knocked away. And then finishing on the other end is O'Curry. Boy, I tell you what, he's an athlete. Four. So let the countdown begin. One turnover for each side. One for Texas Tech, one for Missouri. Kick out three, O'Corey got a three-nothing start. 2.5 to go, O'Corey catches it, two at one from just beyond half court. Yes! Yes! Nick O'Corey from 55 feet. Side back out to Robertson, O'Corey pump fake for the tie from 18 off the glass, Cannon and one! Wow, what a shot! Robertson and Tech with the numbers, three on two. Robertson to a Corey, dumb down inside Singletary, all the way, lays it up and in. And sing. Again, it bears repeating, Colorado with the big lead. These two teams will meet again in Kansas City on Wednesday. Nick Corey's having. Dwaylon Roberts down low, Joe Hadarovich, nice. Nice pass from the big. Hey. There's some good defense on the steal by O'Corey, and this time he brings it home. <laughs> Dixon off the dribble, finds more in an offensive foul on Mizzou. Games on the road, one of those two wins here two years ago. But I thought they were on their way, but it's back to 12. It's been a quarter day. Now it's simple. Well, you wondered how both teams were going to handle the spotlight, and frankly, Texas Tech has handled it better than the Shockers to this point. Around it to Singletary now, Corey. Nick, right-hand side, bounce pass. Oh, beautiful look to reach, reverse layup, good. But dunking the ball like he is today, and, and you can't pull it back on the line. Corey, and that's going to count. It's an easy basket. Uh, Tech helped side defense, fell asleep, dribble penetration. 
Jenkins with a rebound. And now Tech looking to run the other way. All the way to Corey Graham's at home. You know what's interesting? You talk about the rematch and how tough it is to do it back to back. It's an offensive foul, Higgins. Court. And the Red Raiders' defense all shifted to one side and unable to get back and defend Buckley. Okori oh, answers. How about Nick Okori? The floater knocked down by a corner. He's been too many calls about Red Raiders being misspelled on your jersey. We got to take care of that. Darko, of course, from Serbia might have thought that it was spelled a little bit differently. We talked about Darko and Robinson, two main guys for this basketball team. 12 A&M by 15, Wichita State by two. People forget that Tech was rated as high as 16th in the country. That's a goal 10, tiny game. Ability to move and not stand around when you don't have it is key. And there's a great cut by Okori. Thrown up by Okori. But he picks the pocket again, and Okori with the finish. And it's Robertson now on Garrett. And he's able to get the out to Darko. Joe Darvich, nice feed back out to Okori for the three. Mason with 13. Under a minute to go in our first half of play. Again, the three up left side, and they hit that one. Seven of 30 prior to that foul toss. 90% for the year in all games. A crowd of over 10,000 here at the United Spirit Arena. Looking to go to work inside Jenkins. Layup good. Great cuts. Derek rolling out for the season, the heart and soul of that AM team. But AM tough. Crocker to tie it. And a good rebound by Nick Okori at 6 1. Hey, Coach Sadler was telling us that he might turn Ubell more into an outside player. Especially nice drive there. Johnson guarding inside on the cut. And Nick Okori. Dwight and Roberts has got five or four points in this ball game. But for him, has been a little bit shy on as Lindowski has sort of had a lost season this year, trying to figure out exactly what's going wrong with his game. And a three-pointer by Nick Okori. He's inside off penetration or off the post-entry pass. Nice ball fake. No finish, and underneath, Okori does the dirty work. It's been decisive. Robertson run out. Okori gives it up. Jenkins there for the... Great timing on the interior to not foul on the block attempt. Oh, Corey! Struggling in that half-court situation, Justin Mason, penetration and dish for the open bucket. That is. Appearances can be deceiving. Well done now, BigTwelveSports.com. Nick Corey with the steal. Can he finish? Oh, yeah. uh, improvement here for Pat Knight. I like what he's done with the program. And right now, there's coming a lot of energy tonight. Inside and the flush. It's a lot of pressure on your defense when you can't make a bucket. Can't make free throws, not making a bucket, Ooh. and Tech continues on fire. Did not touch rim, so the shot clock is at 13. It's a quick take and a bucket for Nick Okora. He was. Reese back out to Robertson. Now Okori fires up a three. Wow! Is it they hurry up? In the lane, little floater, good. Nice. Roberts finishes. Not there. John Robinson comes away with it. Okori at the other end. Look at the athleticism of Kansas State. Just with the ability to throw the ball up and let their players go and get it. Nick O'Kori! on a dime. And that's back to my point about emotion and energy, and you expect your leader to step up and do that. Okori with the steam. The pick in the pocket, and Tech leads by. Not as consistent as I think a guy should be with his ability. Yep. And we've got a tie up here. Yep. The alternate position. So a five-point advantage. Okori's quick and will rise up and shoot it. Three-pointer. Got it! Big three. Very, very valuable, and Oklahoma still working in a, in a zone defense. Okori with the nice shot, and the lead changes hands again. Gary Johnson skies for the rebound, can't get it, and there, I thought they were coming right here. Okori, yes. 
play by Singletary. Out to Robertson. Oh, Corey. Jackson. Well, you got to be careful about Jamel Jackson. He uh, he knocked down 12 in a game this year. I tell you, he's just clearly back, as is Mike Singletary, and it's those two really carrying the scoring load for the Red Raiders. Okori driving the baseline, ah. feeds it to Lewandowski. It... Henry, and that'll be a charge. They let him off the hook and lost in overtime in Boulder. They had Kansas State in trouble, and look at this press break and dunk by 72 for reserve seats. Anderson threw it away. Okori with Reese. In the wing, again that bruised rib hampered him against Texas last Saturday. And that man was huge against the last half. John Robertson. Tweedy Carter's the first player in double figures in the game. He has 12. Okori makes a nice move. Well, how about that vertical jump? Stopping it would look like to be an easy bucket for them. Here's Okori back out onto the corner. Three-quarter. None any bigger than that one right there. Okori. Oh, my goodness. Back in the corner again. Darko looked for him. Oh, and the cut. Yeah. Okori on the cut. Nice job by... Pressure by Brad Reese, but Colorado saves it. And an offensive foul. This is going to go on Burke. Gets to the rack so quickly and then is able to stop on a dime and go up and under control to hit the easy floater in the lane. Oh, Corey really playing a high level now. First half and it's made a big difference. And Davis challenges again, can't oh. get it down this time. He's got to knock that shot down. He made the nice. Has come into the game for Oklahoma State. Now oh, Corey for three. Back to a 20 point lead. Corey with a high archer. Well, let's well, the young man has a lot of problems with the with the wheels. And it has been a difficult thing as Lewandowski Jerry Crocker doing a nice job against him. Oh, Corey with the drive. Just on grip it and have a nice touch with a jump shot. And this is a guy that shot almost 300 threes this season. Oh, Corey. Nice look by Oh, Corey. I'm telling you. But, uh, you know, you, you can, if you are the home team and get out to an early lead, you can put a little pressure on these guys. The shot right there by O'Boy. Well, they did what they were supposed to, which is win the, win the home game. Franklin's shot is blocked. And this is where they miss Darko, because he could get it in the center and make plays. Well, Corey's soft touch just outside the paint. As a general rule, it's because the guy setting the pick is moving when he sets it. Echo Corey driving and lays it up and in. The home of State clobbered Oklahoma at home. Holmes trying to spin it home, and they get the offensive foul. And a rebound comes down to Robertson. Robertson pushing it back the other way, finds his man with a thread pass to Okori. Not the screen from Choadarovich. On the right side of Corey. Thought about it for three. Now dribble drive on the baseline. Floater up and yes! And he's fouled! Great drive by a Corey! Tech motioning through. Ray Penn forces, forces him all the way to the sideline. And that's a difficult shot. for 6'7", 225.